Hi, welcome to Breathe Better with Elizabeth. I'm Elizabeth. Today I'm going to be doing a full pulmonary rehab exercise session. If you like my video and you want to keep supporting me, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe, share my video with others who might enjoy it. And if you can um, just make a comment in the comment section, um, the engagement will really help boost the video. So if you feel inclined to help me like that, I would really appreciate it. Now, what you're going to need today are some arm weights. And if you don't have weights, you can use water bottles. These weigh one pound each. So I always recommend starting with no weights, then going to one pound, then going to two pounds, and then going to three pounds. And I usually don't go over three pounds, but it's completely up to you. So arm weights, and then I also use ankle weights. So you don't have to use these. I don't put them around my ankles. I just simply put them over my legs so that um, I can add some weight to my legs. The only other thing I have is a pillow. If you want to use a pillow to support your back, you can do that as well. So we're gonna get started here. First, we're gonna do some shoulder rolls. Nice exaggerated rolls forward. These are so, so good for you, especially if you have trouble breathing because the more loose your shoulders, neck, upper body stays, the better you're going to breathe because you're going to be able to get more, switch directions, you're gonna be able to get more air into your lungs if you don't have that constriction there holding you like this. If you're real tight and you take a breath, you're not gonna be taking in a deep breath. So the more loose you are, the better your breathing is gonna be. Now we'll do some neck rolls. These are very gentle. Please don't tug on your neck. You just want to do what's comfortable. So start one side and just very gently roll around. Now switch directions. sure that was turned on. Um, so now you're just going to focus on diaphragmatic breathing. We're going to find our breath here and um, the best way to do it is to put your hands on your stomach making your middle fingers touch. You want to inhale through your nose make sure your stomach pushes out and these fingers come apart. So I'm going to demonstrate. Inhale and exhale. They go back together. Inhale they open and exhale they close back together good inhale open exhale close inhale and exhale inhale and exhale right and drop your arms now we're going to do a simple march before we get started if you get short of breath and you feel like you're doing too much please stop what you're doing sit and do the breathing exercises we just did okay once you get back to normal you can hop right in and continue the exercises if you're exercising and you're using weights and it feels like you can't do it anymore please just either drop your weights altogether or lower your weights same goes if it's easy, you want to add weight. So that's kind of, you can do so much with my videos because literally if you find them too easy, you're going to add weight and you're going to go faster than I am so that you're doing more of the exercise. If it's too hard, you're going to drop weights and go slower. So you can make this your video, however is best for you to, to exercise. So now we'll get started. We're going to do a simple march while you're seated. So you're going to put arm up with the opposite leg up and then you're going to switch. We're just going to take a nice pace here. The biggest thing is just do not hold your breath. Make sure that you're taking in those nice big deep breaths. Very good going to get that blood flowing a little bit.
Okay, you can stop. Now we're going to add the weights. So if you have the ankle weights and you would like to lay them across your legs like this, just gonna make it a little bit harder. And you can add the arm weights as well if you would like. Now we're just going to repeat the march, but we're making it a little bit harder. So you're gonna start this way. This obviously does make it a little bit harder. You might not feel it at first, but the more you do, the more you're going to feel it. Just make sure you're taking those nice big deep breaths. Okay, now we're going to slow it down and pause up. Again, up, up, exhale as you go back up, inhale, and exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, good, and back down. So, okay, now you want to keep these. Now we're going to do some bicep curls. We're going to combine legs here. So I know you can't see my feet. I'm sorry about that. But what you want to do on the curl, what your feet are going to do is you're going to point your toes so that your heels are off the ground. So you start off, everything is flat, and then you're going to go up with your heels as well as your arms and back down. Now, the correct way to breathe here, you want to make sure that you're exhaling on the difficult part. So you'll inhale while it's easy and exhale while it's hard. And just so you don't hyperventilate, you don't need to breathe in and out with every single one of these. You can break it up. So I will usually do two. So I'll inhale and exhale. Or you can do it slow, where you just do one at a time. Exhale, so you'll inhale down, and exhale. I'm gonna do it this way, just so you can match your breath, but if this is too easy for you, just do it faster. Very good. Now we're going to change it up a little bit. Um, palms face your body and you're just going to go up at an angle here. You don't go all the way up. You just want to go right here to where they're parallel to each other and then back down. Your legs are going to go opposite as well. So your heels will be on the floor and your toes are going to point to the sky and back down. So I'll start off neutral. Inhale and exhale, inhale, and exhale. Last one. Good. Just take a pause here. Take a couple of nice big deep breaths before we repeat that. Inhale through your nose, push your stomach out. And exhale. One more. And exhale. Good. Now we're going to go back to curls and heels off the floor. So start neutral and exhale. Back down.
Almost there, two more. Good. Now we're gonna switch it up again. Palms facing your body, up to parallel, and to toes to the sky. So inhale down, and exhale up. Inhale, and exhale. You've got this, just a couple more here. One more. Great. Now just set these to the side. We are going to use them again, but just not right this minute. So we're gonna set them to the side. Focus on breathing for just a couple minutes. So sitting up nice and tall, I just want you to take a deep breath in through your nose and exhale. Now you're gonna arch your back on an inhale. Look to the sky and then exhale, fold forward and curl your back. Inhale up and exhale. Inhale up and exhale. Okay, now you can sit up nice and tall. The next exercise is a seated sit up. Your hands will go behind your head. You're going to inhale through your nose, pushing your stomach out and exhale forward. And then inhale as you come up. This is awesome for your core as well as your diaphragm. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale up. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale back up. All right, drop your arms, do a shoulder roll forward a couple times and back. All right, now we're just gonna do a little side stretch with our breathing. So inhale, exhale, you're gonna put one hand on your chair and you're just gonna reach to the side. Inhale as you come up, exhale over. Inhale, exhale, inhale up, over, inhale, great. Now we're going to do five more seated sit-ups. So arms behind your head, inhale, and exhale forward, inhale up. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Last one. Inhale up. Exhale. Inhale up and drop your arms. Once again, let's do a couple of shoulder rolls forward and a couple back. All right, we're gonna go back to our weights. If you're feeling pretty tuckered out and short of breath, just don't add the weights here. Do them without, it's totally up to you. I'm gonna use the weights. So we're gonna start off with the curls and heels up. So inhale, and exhale up. Whew. 
While doing these curls, it is important that your shoulder blades are squeezed together here. And then you also want to keep your arms down by your side. So you want your elbows to be touching your side. This is going to isolate the exercise and make it to where you're not hurting your back or your neck. All right, now we're going to change palms facing your body and your toes are going to come up to the sky. So you'll inhale, exhale, inhale down and exhale. three more three two and last one good now you can stop for a second let's take a couple deep breaths all right now we're going to march for 20 with our weights Remember to breathe here. Do not hold your breath. And I'll be honest, I lost count. Anytime I try to count and speak at the same time, it doesn't work out. So I'm going to do what I think is probably 20. Okay, now stop. Now we're going to drop the weights. And we're going to do 20 more without any weights. So I'll just go right into those. These, you can go a little faster if you want to. All right, now stop. Take a couple deep breaths. We're going to do some march holds. So up, just hold it here for a few seconds and switch. You all are almost there. You're almost done with the whole video. Right. Now you're just going to do three awesome deep breaths as your arms go up and over. So I want you to inhale and reach up and over. Pause and now exhale. Oh, so I'm going to drop my water. <laughs> nice and relaxing, huh? Inhale and exhale. And then one more big deep breath. And exhale. There you go. You got a good workout, less than 20 minutes. As always, if you have any questions, comments, just leave them in the comment section. Thanks so much.